Hi, today's kind of a quick tip is all about colour. I'm Kim from Be Your Own Graphic Designer and a Canva champion. Let's go across to my design screen and take a look at how you can select colours in Canva. I've opened up a simple Instagram post. I've gone into photos under elements and I've typed in sunset. because I thought that would give us some really intense colours to look at. And quite difficult ones to match if you want to add text to it. Let's find one that I like. This one looks really nice. If you right click on this, you can just click on the set your image as a background image. So a really nice quick tip. You can see it's filled out the frame beautifully. I'm going to add some text and I'll add a heading. I'll just move it up here so it's more visible. And I'll type in, and this is spelled the English way. Sorry if you're used to dropping the U. I'm now going to click on the text color box up here. Down here are all the default colors. And these are very typically where people go. And you can just choose a random color if you want, that you can guess might work. But what these photo colors do, I'll give you colors that the camera is lifted from the image itself and add a tonal element. So we could look at this one, for example. And you can see that just, I might make that larger for you. You can see how that turns in with the photo I've selected. But there are other things you can do with colors as well. And this is my brand colors for my brand kit. If you want to have this many colors in your brand kit, you actually have to have a pro account. But if you want to try your pro account free for 45 days, then I'll add a link in the information below the video so you can always try that. It would be a great way for you to have a really good play with Canva. But if you want to go just to document colors, Canva's just pulled out one color from my document. But I want to look at the other colors to see what else I can do. So I'm going to click on the add new color. And I'm going to click on this color picker. And it says I can pick a color from the design. So I click on that and I can drag this over. And if I hover on that and then click, you can see it added that color to my design. Let's just try that again. Click on here, drag it over and add this pale color. And as you can see, as I'm in the text area, it's changing the text box as I'm doing it. But that one clearly doesn't work. Let's go to the color picker again and go to this very dark color here. And that's added it up there and added it to the design. So you can see how easy it is to find a color that really does turn in with the photo that I've selected. Other ways you can find color is you can look under styles. And this is giving me the option of trying styles from my own brand kit or other ones that I've recently used, or I can go to color palettes. So this should come up with one that's very close to my color. Actually, I think I prefer my previous color. So all I need to do is click undo and back to that one. I hope that helps. It was just a quick tip. If you find this video useful, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you want to know when I'm publishing a new video, which I do once a week, then hit the little bell notification and you'll be told. And I'll catch up with you next week.